afternoon, Gossip Gals. How are we today? I've got the lovely Kate Holroyd with me today. Um, looking dazzling. <laughs> I put my special sequins oh. on, so I've got about four pairs. Have you? <laughs> yeah. And now, like on your profile picture, you've got one, uh, yeah. which looks yeah. really cool. So I'm going to ask you about this as well. I've never been on like a Disney cruise. I would love to do something like that. It's so cool. Um, so Kate is our holiday guru. Um, mm. So we're going to be chatting to Kate. Um, Kate is one of our Gossip Gals Golds. Um, and I love interviewing people to find out all about the business, all about what they can offer us and lots of different things. It's so inspirational just learning how you got into business and, and all different things. Um, yeah, and everyone's got different stories, haven't they? And I think that's really, really wonderful, actually, about having yeah. your own business. Everyone's got a different tale of how they ended up there. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. I, I, I never get bored of listening to how people get into it. It's really good. Um, so when you come on, just say hi, let us know that you're watching. And if you are watching on replay, give us a hashtag replay. I'm going to share it to my profile as well. Um, so if you're watching on there too, say hello. Um, so um, Kate, do you want to introduce yourself first of all and let us know what you do? And also let's go into how, how you got into what you do. Because I know you've got so much experience, don't you? Yeah, I do. I've got over 15 years experience in the travel industry. So um, yeah, my name's Kate Holroyd. I own, run, the tea, I'm the tea lady for Strawberry Holidays. Um, we are now officially five years old. We turned five um, this month, which is wow. just phenomenal. Yeah, I cannot believe it's been five years already. And funnily enough, our first ever booking was a Walt Disney World booking um, to Orlando, Florida. So it's really funny how, um, you know, our journey has led us to be in an all service, all around the world agency to focusing down on cruise and Disney holidays um, to, you know, for our first booking to be Walt Disney World, it was like it's meant to be. It's fate, right. isn't it? So that kind yeah, of set you off as you were going to carry on, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've worked in, like I said, I've worked in travel for fifteen years. I've I started my um, sort of travel industry experience at Air Tours, if you can remember Air Tours and my travel and going places. Yeah. And Thomas Cook. I've worked for huge cruise retailers like Cruise One One Eight, um, Jill's Cruises and um yeah just heaps of experience within the travel industry but all only in marketing so when i set our when we set our, up our agency five years ago it was a very different um thing for us to sort of embark on because not only did i have to make the phone ring but i also then had to make people's wishes come true so yeah we specialize in I'm actually a fairy godmother. I um, help <laughs> first timers, so uh, Disney first timers and cruise first timers, because they're such special holidays for for people, but they're very overwhelming to book. So I come in like a fairy godmother and just help people take that pressure off and just help them um, to book a really magical trip. That's what I like to hear because you know it is like especially after this like break that we've had from holidays as well it might be a bit like feel a bit funny for people like booking a holiday like it might feel like your holiday for the first time again just because yeah. you've not been away for two years so yeah, that's definitely and we're yeah. seeing huge demand for disney and crew so we're seeing huge demand for chris for, for, for Disney, <laughs> I'm merging the two into one there, and um, for Disney because people haven't been away for a couple of years and they think, you know what, now's the time to splash out and do that Disney yeah. holiday. Like, and then like, the other the thing, time like the present is that why wait? You know why, why wait? Too short. <laughs> As we've seen the last two years, and then with cruise, we've we've seen a massive amount of families try cruise last summer with um, the seacations with Disney Magic, but also with the other cruise lines. Um, you know, doing these short stays just to try it out and pardon the pun, but put their foot, feet in the water, dip their toe in. And they've really loved it. Like MSC Cruises were, were um, saying 50% of the people on board were brand new to cruise. They'd never tried it before. Wow. So we're definitely seeing um, seeing that trend. But also people are coming to travel agents because it's been such a it has been such a traumatic time in terms of 
people's holidays you know people's moving honeymoons three and four times and yeah. not knowing what to do with their vouchers that they're getting and all the different terms and conditions and things and as a travel agent we've lived and breathed every <laughs> travel restriction every country's borders change of of um you know, we could have helped we point. could have helped Djokovic avoid <laughs> all of the issues <laughs> in Australia and that's why people are coming to to travel agents now is is exactly that to help them navigate you know all of those um fun quirks that we now have um now have post covid yeah. so what made you go from the marketing side of travel to actually booking the travel and having your own company with it yeah so um i left um a position in at, at cruise 118 um just because the pressure the pressure was quite a lot in the role and um I instantly regretted um, leaving that role and leaving the travel industry um and it became really um apparent that I was meant to be in travel but I'd mm. got to a place where I was tired of banging on someone else's door and showing them how to market and how to do it and what what to sell when and and I just felt that I could do it for myself put a lot of joy into it and work you know around my family and just have more fun with it basically so um so that's why strawberry holiday was yeah, born. It's so interesting because a lot of people come into the business because you know for example somebody who um does candles you know they're very good at making candles and getting all the scents right and, and things like that but then they're not so great at the marketing side of things but you've got the great skill at marketing, selling, and, you know, like you say, like making sure that you're selling the right thing at the right time to the right mm -hmm. people. Um, and so, yeah, you, that, that's you've always been, to go there, yeah. Yeah, I've definitely always been able to make the phone ring. Um, that's never been an issue with, you know, because of my marketing experience. Um, and I'll be honest, you know, moving into sales was, was definitely a challenge. And actually, it's helped me more you know better understand marketing to make sure that the messages are more consistent from you know from when they place that first inquiry right the way through to when they yeah. um, you know come home and it has been a real eye opener in that sense but um I did have to teach myself a like how to do a sales process, how to make sure that I'm engaging the client and building that rapport. Because up to up to that up to the point of owning my own business, it had been faceless phone calls, you know, as a marketer. But then yeah. when you start actually being the person answering the phone and you're the one building the relationship, I have always been a good relationship builder, but this was on another level. And so I did I have had to teach myself sales, definitely. Yeah, yeah that's great. Um so um, you love Disney, but mm -hmm. what is it about Disney? Has this been from a little girl or, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think, I think a lot, like, I wouldn't, it, by any stretch, I know I look like I'm one of those Disney adults <laughs> that you see on um, Instagram, but I don't feel like I am one of those. My house <laughs> isn't full of Disney. This is marketing more than anything. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, Disney. I've had a real firm love of Disney since I, like you say, since I was a little girl. It's something that's been a massive, massive part of of my childhood from the films. And then I did my first trip to Disneyland Paris at eleven, um, with on a school trip, and just never looked back. Just I've been to Disneyland Paris now eight times, and and I and it's one of those. I just feel at home there, the magic, the the sights, the smells, the sounds, the adventure. And I've been at different points in my life. I feel like it's it really resonates with me because when I was 11 and I was with my friends and it was a cool trip, right the way through to go in in 2018 when I was heavily pregnant with my son, but with Abigail, my daughter, who was um, nine at the time. And you know the two experiences we couldn't have been more different but we yeah. were both equally special so um yeah i think if you even if you're not a huge fan of disney films the experience as a holiday maker is just second to none the way you're spoken to the way your kids you know see these characters come to life the way mm -hmm. that your hotel room is looked after and just like the level of service throughout it's just a fantastic holiday I do really look after you I've got some cousins that go on uh, that have been in the past like gone on quite a few Disney cruises mm. and it just looks amazing and yeah. 
I think once you go, you realise the quality of the service that you're getting, as yeah. well as, you know, the Disney magic and the vibe. Mm -hmm. But it's, it is that luxury holiday as, as part of it. So Yeah, most definitely. And Disney and Cruise are very similar in that, in that respect. I mean, Disney Cruise is another level, um, but as, as there's, there are many cruise lines and I always say there's a cruise line for everyone and um, it's just about speaking to an expert that can help you choose the right one um, so but can this, you help you to can you can yeah. you come all cruises yeah yeah, no, yeah all there's there's so many different types of cruises everything from you can be part of a team on an expedition to the Antarctic or you can go super duper luxury in a presidential suite on a, you know, transatlantic six star line at £100,000 a suite, for, you know, for seven nights. And and there's everything in between. There's, you know, cheap family breaks with Costa and MSC or there's um, sightseeing Norwegian fjords, which is actually for nice. everybody because it's just magical. Yeah. Um, you know, there's just there's everything in between. But I've I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you go on the wrong ship or with the wrong cruise line, you'll never you won't cruise again. It has to be. And, and that can be a lot of pressure, which is where I kind of come in and just <clears throat> help help make that decision, because I've been on board, um, you know, 30 odd ships. I've sailed over 60 nights on seven different cruise lines. So I really do understand the differences and the, the nuances and that can help people um, determine which is the right one for them. It's like booking your own holiday compared to going to a, a travel agent. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite a risk booking your own holiday, isn't it? Because, you know, it's a big investment in your leisure time because it's a chunk of money mm -hmm. um, and you don't know exactly what you're going to get. I saw, what was it? I don't really watch it, but um, it was on the telly the other day about um, holidays, nightmare holidays. Mm -hmm. And somebody had booked through Teletext and they had a terrible holiday. And I can't believe Teletext is still going. But um, it's still on there, mm -hmm. and you know, but they didn't have um, anybody to help them, you know. And I yeah. know you're consistently there all the way through. Yeah. So I had a client just before, um, just before Christmas. They were flying out to meet a ship for the twenty second of December, and um, the crew there was an issue with their flight. The PCR test didn't arrive in time. They rang me up. I was there. You know, they didn't sit on hold for hours. They didn't have to speak to an American emergency telephone line. They spoke to me directly and we got them on a new flight and we got them, um, you know, to the ship on time. And and otherwise they would have had to have, you know, sorted that out themselves with jet yeah. lag, with a time difference, with not necessarily knowing what number to call in that in those circumstances. Um, but, you know, having one person as a point of contact that can just handhold you in those situations, especially, you know, for a Christmas trip. And I've had that before where, um, I don't know if you remember the drones over Gatwick, um, but I had clients that were supposed to be flying out of Gatwick and they just called me and we oh. arranged them to fly out of Heathrow instead. And again, you know, that was no pressure on them because they just they knew they could just pick up the phone to me and I would do all the running around because I knew exactly who to speak to and and how to get them how to get them sorted out and that really is the power of any travel agent any travel consultant and then the other aspect as you were saying like there's no guarantee of what you're going to get at the other end my I've had some clients had a terrible experience over Christmas on P&O and I I love cruise I'm a big passionate believer in cruise but until they resolve some of the issues on board, because these weren't customer specific, they were like there's, there's some issues on this particular ship. Yeah. So I've spoken to PO and I'm I'm not recommending it at the moment because I'm not I, you know, my clients have huge amount of trust in me. And so I've had people inquire and I've said, actually, honestly, this isn't the best cruise experience at the moment because the COVID policy is shoddy and not great mm -hmm. and the safety isn't great on on board as as far as their covid policies are concerned and i'm happy to be honest and and, and give that other side um and because i'm booking all day every day lots of different people and lots of different people coming back and giving me feedback you know people that are only traveling once a year they're only getting their own experience but if you use a travel agent you, you're getting many people's experience yeah. in one person so there's that element as well yeah, Kate, I just want to say, I, I I think you're just highly credible and you are 
very very educated on what you do and you see that in every part of what you do and your integrity and your ethics are just so high that yeah, i would recommend you to anybody you know it's not just oh yeah just book a holiday you know it is your heart goes into it it's absolutely there right at yeah. the front of things and um, don't get me wrong that's made the last two years and I don't want to get bogged down in COVID, but it's made the last two years quite diff like quite draining and quite exhausting for a lot of yeah. travel agents, not just myself, but those of us that do put our heart and soul into it. And it's not just another booking for another piece of commission. It is about that customer and their experience. You know, a lot of us are feeling quite drained and exhausted because the last two years have been, you know, there's been a lot of heartbreak. <laughs> A lot of yeah. heartbreak. I was going to say, but hopefully we're moving coaster, forward. You haven't even had the highs, so you just had the lows. I know, five years old, and yeah, so yeah, it's not great. Right right the other more. side, hopefully yeah, the other side now. And there's lots of people now booking holidays. I feel more spirited for booking holidays as well. I just mm -hmm. feel a lot more energized for it as well, and I feel like more like, yeah, I'm going to do it because you know I don't want to wait anymore and let's enjoy it so definitely definitely and travel agents all all independent travel agents everywhere are hungry to help honestly we have been swatting up on training we have been you know we've lived yeah. through like the worst thing that could happen to our industry has happened in that we were grounded weren't we and that it was like with the volcano as well um you know 10 years ago with the Icelandic volcano the worst possible thing happened to the industry and everything ground to a halt and we, we've made it through but we've used that time we've learned we've got great experience from it um and we understand I mean I personally have really look through my supplier policies i've got a gold list of suppliers now and a and a black list of suppliers <laughs> based on those experiences the last two years so yeah, yeah. there's um there's a well you know we are really hungry to help people with that with that pent-up demand yeah and you're very good with um you do clinics on the radio and things as well mm -hmm. don't you i mean yeah. if anybody's got any questions now or if in the comments uh, you want to ask anything about your holidays kate is like um <laughs> who's that guy martin is she's like the martin lewis of holiday <laughs> i love that <laughs> yes you have know, like, like a Q&A <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was on the radio last week actually um I did hits radio last week and um, I did like radio Lancashire between Christmas and New Year and um, because people it's something that you know involves everybody um everyone's got you know some investment in their holiday whether it's a UK based holiday or something abroad so um yeah I do like to um help out those guys when travels in the news with a few comments and um I did do a clinic with BBC Lanks at the end of last year where we had phone in and and people asked yeah. questions on the fly so yeah if anyone's got questions please ask me and I'll try my best to answer them live on this as, as yeah. we can <laughs> well, if you're watching on replay still ask your questions because mm, we can yeah go. i'll come back and comment absolutely yeah. yeah um so i've put your link up down below um strawberryholidays.co.uk um but also kate is open to a message on messenger as well you know mm -hmm. on facebook and um really really helpful so i've always found you so efficient with sending back information for emails and things like that um and i know people um you know, Julie, she always um, raves about the holidays that she's been on with you as well. Mm -hmm. So you get lots yeah, of lovely sure. reviews. Um, so you've also, are you still doing the travel planner that you have? I am. Yeah, we've just, we we um, we sold out yesterday morning. So what? did was, you remember? Yeah, yeah. So we did a pre-sale um, and then we ordered a few extra and then we put those extra on sale yesterday and they sold out in 90 minutes. Yeah. Um, so this is um it's a planner specifically for travel agents although you know if people are just interested in travel it works for them as well it's great for small business owners because it's got um loads of different awareness days um internationally and festivals and it, it's got everything from airport codes to time difference to um like i say these festivals that people enjoy traveling to so um, yeah we, we created it specifically to help travel agents get back on their feet um, and it's yeah. just grown into this huge <laughs> just this huge thing so um, yeah wow. it's called beyond the bookings and I'm incredibly proud of it 
Brilliant, brilliant. So um, people can't buy that right now, but obviously you will have a page for that if they if they want to have a look at it. Um, yeah. So pop that in the comments as well. Yes, um, I will. Do, yeah. So um, let's just have a couple of tips before we round up the interview. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a holiday actually that I'm going to with family. So I'm just like booking flights. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just give us um, two or three tips at the moment that are coming up with travel. Okay. I've not traveled for so long. I feel like I've <laughs> looked at it. Really. <laughs> well, it sounds to me like you're booking different elements separately. So the first thing that I would advise you to do is to read the small print, your COVID policies on refunds and amendments um, for each element that you book in and make sure that you've got adequate travel insurance. And the way I kind of describe the importance of travel insurance is that it protects the purchase, not just, it's not just for your medical care if you have an accident accident when you're abroad or you lose your luggage or something gets stolen it also protects you financially before you travel so if you're booking flights you must be paying for them in full which is a which is a, a considerable outlay and you know financially travel insurance will protect that if you know god forbid somebody breaks their leg or somebody close to you gets poorly and it means you can't travel and especially in COVID times, make sure that there's a COVID policy to make sure that if somebody tests positive, that you can get your money back um, right. that way as well. And then the other thing I'd be aware of, and um, if I can only give a few, it's to stay on top of um, the entry requirements of where you're going. So if you have already got your destination, if you go to FCO, so that's Foxtrot Charlie Oscar .gov .uk, and look for your country that you're traveling to in the list and it will give you all the current guidance it's kept so up to date and you can actually set up email alerts for that country so if that page gets updated they'll send you an email so you don't have to keep you don't even have to keep checking back right. you can just let the email alert tell you which takes a lot of stress away as well because you know you keep being kept up with the information there yeah that's really good yeah yeah and then um and then just stay flexible, just be prepared that things could change. And, and yeah. we have been told by the big operators, so EasyJet, Jet2 and TUI are all expecting um, flight consolidations all summer. And that what that means is if they don't sell enough seats on one flight, they might cancel that flight and move everybody onto a, a flight that's already going um, and, and, they'll, and they'll move you around. So firstly, don't pay over the odds for a specific flight time. Don't like you know what I mean because sometimes you can change yeah. the flight time but it makes the price more expensive I would highly recommend you don't bother with that this year because you might end up still paying that but for a, a two o'clock in the morning flight because they consolidate the flight yeah. and the reason they're doing that is because of demand and they've got to save money and it's completely understandable after the last two years but for your you know for people watching it's benefit don't pay over the odds for a, a decent flight time um, unless you're willing to do that because the you know it could change so just be aware yeah. of that yeah brilliant i've taken some notes down <laughs> yeah. um so yeah ju i just want we'll finish up in a minute but i want to ask you what is the favorite part of what you do oh you know, it's really strange actually because my favorite part is the bon voyage call so i'll call customers just a couple of days before they're traveling and we'll chat and we'll go through everything you know your flight I, the flight oh, time, the that. ticket. That feels very reassuring as well exactly exactly so we'll make sure your passports you know <laughs> we'll double check yeah. everything together and we'll go through it all together and i love that call because everyone's so excited about what's to come and um yeah I do really enjoy that call and then the next one obviously is the welcome home I, I love that one as well because I get to hear all about the holiday get loads of feedback and then I use that use their experiences to help the next family and it's so and, good that you do that I don't mm -hmm. think all travel agents do that do oh, they no, it doesn't end at the booking or the balance payment with me no no I, I take you all the way through to coming home yeah mm-hmm Oh, that is absolutely mm. beautiful. Yes. Oh, I love that. I'm yeah. godmother after all. <laughs> exactly. So you really do look after us, like hold our hands all the way. Yeah. I love it. Oh, fantastic business. This has been absolutely brilliant. And like I say, you know, what I said before, um, 
I really regard you highly um, in your industry. So I think you're brilliant. Um, we've got some hearts there coming on, so that's lovely. Oh, thank um, you so much. <laughs> so anybody who wants to um, ask Kate to uh, recommend holidays for them, um, what you usually do is um, give like three examples, do you? Is that how you do it? I do, yeah. So um, again, this is a really cool part and not a lot of travel agents will do this. I create a, a personal landing page with um probably three or maybe four options depending on um what you know where we're going and who's going and things um and on the page are loads of images and videos and what it does is instead of just sending a load of attachments or a load of individual emails it keeps everything in one place and then what you do with that link is completely up to you you can share it with friends or um you can keep it for yourself there's no sort of personal information on there apart from obviously the businesses and um it renders on iphone and you know smartphone yeah. or tablet or desktop it just looks really smart and beautiful and just gets people really like immersed in the holiday before they've even gone i often get people saying they all look amazing i don't know which to choose <laughs> so we kind of have to dig in a little deeper and just well, say well because i mean it is a wide range of places that you can book on holiday but telling you I want this, this, and this, and this. Yep. You could not with three options. It's yep. it saves you so much time. Massive. So it takes on average it for a fly and I call them fly and flops to Spain. Um, it takes on average for a fly and flop thirty seven and a half hours which is a whole working week is the average that a Brit will spend researching before they've even booked their holiday just for a fly and flop to Spain. So add to that multiple destinations yeah. disney cruise and you're talking probably double that aren't you so for somebody mm. to just have a half an hour video appointment like we're doing now we have a half an hour video appointment i learn everything about their family what characters they love or what parts of the holiday they love or what destinations they want the cruise to stop at i go away and spend a lot less than 37 and a half hours because I'll know probably from that chat, I'll probably be able to pull them off my head, three or four options. Yeah. Um, and then I'll, I collate it all. And like you said, you've already got your gold list. So you can say, right, well, this is what they've asked for. Yeah. And yeah. send the list. And then they, and generally speaking, um, I don't know why, but just timings wise, they tend to get it over a weekend. They'll mull it over, show the kids the video, you know, um, talk it over as a couple. And then we'll do a follow up half an hour. And generally speaking, they've made a decision. So they've gone from 37 and a half hours potentially or more to an hour because yeah. it's been personalized. And, and, then and this, and this doesn't cost them any extra. This yeah. it doesn't cost them, There's no extra to the service because I earn a commission from the holiday providers so they pay what they would pay and um but they get this you know this narrowing down of of options oh, okay. and it just becomes a lot less daunting and then and like even so I've, I've just I've got a client who's going to um Orlando at the end of March his son has got autism um I was recently binging some vlogs um really recent vlogs so I know what's going on in the parks took some special restaurants and some special parts of the park that are currently quite quiet so I yeah. sent them those spaces so that he knows if his son starts to get overwhelmed with everything and overstimulated I've given him places in each park that he can go to with his son right. and just have a minute and come you know and, and do that and you know not not a lot of um well no website's going to do that for you <laughs> no, no. And the amount of researching and worrying about that, you know, I've got some with autism as well. So mm -hmm. that's exactly what you need. And now you've got that information. Absolutely. Um, no, it's, it's actually really other people that come to you with children with autism, they know yeah. that you know your yeah. stuff. Yeah, and it's not just that as well. It's other things like the heat can get a lot in Orlando. So those things will work for if they get overheated. And it's mm. it's it's re I always that's the other thing like I never begrudge if, they, if somebody says oh I'm not I'm not booking this time we've changed our mind I never get upset about that because um I use whatever I've learned during that process for, for the next yes yeah the next it's always, so it's always yeah. learning I'm always learning from, yeah, from, really from quotes yeah so if anyone feels like oh I've got a question but I don't want to waste the time please don't because I've, I've heard it all and said it all and I learn from everything 
Yeah, great stuff. Okay, so thank you so much. Um, I'm sure there'll be some questions coming on later on. Um, yeah, I have like just that. really, really loved chatting with you. I'm mm -hmm. sorry that we've gone over 20 minutes, but um, it's been fantastic. Um, so you. I'll make sure that Kate pops the um, the details in the comments as well. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'll upload this to YouTube as well, so we can get a description on there for you too. Yeah, um, thank you. Yes, that would be great. Thank you so much for sharing um, so much of what you do. And thanks for so much for being our Gossip Girls Gold interview. Yeah, so, thank you I for having me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon, everybody. Bye, bye. Now. bye.